What's up y'all, it's Chantel and this is Chantel's Beauty Talk and I am so excited for today's conversation because it's going to be a juicy one and it's going to be a spicy one and I mean it's going to be a really great conversation. So as I always say, beauty is on the inside, beauty is on the outside and beauty most of all is loving yourself. And today we're focusing on body positivity and also positive ideology. It's about loving on yourself and it's also on loving on others. So while I'm saying that in the same breath, if anyone is under the age of 18, when you're actually considered an adult, and this is adult conversation, you got to hop off this live. But other than that, this is grown people's talk. It's going to be, um, like I said, it's going to be great. Uh, my friend Eve, she is amazing. She has a adult toy line um, and is doing very well. And I always like to see my black women doing great things and having successful businesses. Okay. So I'm also sharing that today I am facilitating this and I'm also going to learn just like you guys. I'm also asking to ask as many questions as you possibly can because I'm sure you guys are going to have tons of comments. Y'all going to have tons of questions and put it in the question box and I will let it pop up. So, what's up y'all? How are y'all doing? I'm going to throw Eve up here because I see that she is here. And then I'll give another intro for everyone else. So yeah, y'all. Um, I want you to. Hey, girl. Hi. How are you? Oh, love? you look real spicy. Well, we're having spicy conversation, so we have to keep the ambiance good. <laughs> so your screen, um, screen actually is turned to the right. It's not actually. It doesn't look like we're actually facing each other. Okay. Is that better? Yep. So I'm actually um just putting in here who I'm interviewing and I'm putting sex specialist, which is yourself, Eve. Yes, ma'am. Hold on, we're getting our camera together. Hold up one second so that you guys can see me well. Yes, girl, we gotta see you. We're gonna have tons of questions up in here. <laughs> yes, is that this better? Is a First of all, whether people wanna believe it or not, or whether people may deny. It's a very, we talk about this stuff all the time, okay? We talk about this stuff when we are at our bridal showers. We talk about this stuff, whether we're a bridesmaid, a wife, when you're at your yeah. auntie's house. We talk, yeah. even men, because men, I find that they have so many like relationship topics and they be getting into some really juicy conversations. Exactly. So if they could do it, why can't we? Exactly, exactly. Here, we at Ready for Pleasure, we are about the empowerment of everyone. Everyone deserves pleasure. And the stigma behind the conversation about intimacy and sex, it's usually taboo, but guess what? That's how we all got here, right? Exactly. So this conversation is not meant to offend anyone or alienate anyone. It's to include everyone because everyone deserves pleasure and we're here for it yes sis well first of all can i just say cheers i actually brought my wine hey I got red. okay so cheers Salud. you know <laughs> thank you i try to put this on at eight o'clock because i know insecure is coming on on t at 10 <laughs> so after 10 you know it'll be you know at 11 that's be the real late night hour so Exactly. Y'all could use some of these conversations. We could take it a little past that time after we finish it. But exactly. um, let's get started. So, my Thanks. good sis, <laughs> my hot good sis over there, okay? <laughs> um, how about you introduce yourself and tell everybody a little bit about your business? Sure. I am Eve, and my company is Ready for Pleasure. Um, we started this company, it was, it was actually, to be honest, something that I started with my sisters and we all had our own individual uh, hurdles that we were facing, whether we were single, whether you were a single mom, whether you weren't dating, whether you were married and it was kind of like a stalemate. I wanted to be able to say, you know what, we can empower ourselves to do 
whatever we need to do to bring that kind of joy and pleasure because it actually starts from within. And mm -hmm. when you're happy and when you're at your best moment is when you know yourself. So during this time that we're going through right now with um, the, the pandemic yeah. and the quarantine, what better space to have to get to know thyself? And when you yes. are very aware of what brings you pleasure, you're able to share that and pass it on to your partners. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I did do also this disclaimer, but do you want to do the disclaimer that we talked about as well about the age range? Okay. And on this slide? <laughs> más importante, if you are under 18, I understand that you may be privy to and wanting to understand this conversation, but this is not the arena and this is not the forum for you. So anyone under 18, please go ahead and log off now because we need to keep this grown and sexy. Thank you. Yes, thank you. This protects mm -hmm. us and protects your brand and well, actually both our brands because we're going here on a public <laughs> platform. But mm -hmm. um, I know you mentioned that you and your sisters started something together. Um, like what made you just say like, okay, let's do an adult toy line. Like what, like how did that, like, like certain business become like, okay, like let's do it. Was it very spontaneous or it wasn't? It was spontaneous in the sense of we are a very creative family and uh -huh. we love to be entertained and we're entertaining. And how else do you marry something that is a natural part of life? It's something to embrace and not be ashamed of, but to uh -huh. also keep it in a, a sense of, I want you to understand that this is a normal thing, but I also want yeah. you to understand it doesn't have to be trashy. It doesn't have to be Absolutely. in a sense that you are ashamed to talk about it with your friends or with your peers. Listen, we all deserve pleasure. Everyone deserves pleasure. I am here to just facilitate those tools to allow you to do so in a private setting where you also feel empowered to understand and explore yourself. What better time than right now to, Absolutely. to explore yourself? And you're not alone, whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, and your toys are unisex, correct? It's for men, it's for women, whatever you identify with, at the end of the day, there are toys for men and there are toys for women. So we have a wide array of toys that you could share as couples, toys that you could have just for your soul pleasure. And then you have different toys that you could actually utilize to get to know yourself. Yes. Well, I did say that a part of beauty is knowing yourself. It's a part of loving yourself. And I also mentioned this too, loving on yourself. And when you're ready, whatever stage of life you're in to love on other people as well but you can't do that unless you know how to do it yourself know thyself i mean yes. again everyone deserves pleasure my toys are definitely especially in this time it doesn't matter if you're home alone it doesn't matter if you're home with your significant other even when you're with your significant other this is the time that you get to know your partner, you get to explore together, you get to actually have adventures together. And these type of avenues, as far as the adult toys are concerned, mm -hmm. there are a myriad of toys that I sell. You have oils, you have lube, uh, lubricants, you have massagers, you have vibrators, you have strokers, anything that you need, we have it at Ready for Pleasure. Yeah. So um, for my audience that's watching, I definitely want this talk to be very engaging. If you do have questions or ages of question at all, if you do put it in the question box, um, I don't know how you guys feel, but, you know, I won't disclose your name or I can actually put it on the screen so everyone can see what the question is. Either way, we want to be respectful of everyone's privacy. Um, and also, but your, you know, your questions, like, you know, this is a time where I feel like it's very shamed in certain places, but it's also, we talk about this stuff in settings that we're also comfortable with. So we want to make this an atmosphere where you all feel comfortable. So, exactly. well, thus said, um, it's time to spice up the talk. Ooh, okay. Ooh, so, 
what toys do you find that you sell the most? Oh, yes. For women, especially my vibrators, my massagers, and definitely the lubricants and the oils. Um, the women tend to also gravitate towards the shrinkage cream and the like nipple enhancers, things of that nature to get them that More extra the spice. Movie. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> for yeah. the men, we have the stimulants as far as the extenders. We have the strokers. We have um, the pumps as well. Okay. There are some men that have, you know, certain issues that they want to deal with, but that doesn't stop you from being pleasured. So we have that for you, too. What I do like about um, your company, and I know we speak all the time, <laughs> and when we spoke the other day, I mean, you literally, you named so many things that were on your website. It was like, it was like indefinite. Like, it was like, well, what don't you have? Um, so what I wanted to ask is like, Okay, are there any, cr what are things that people normally ask for and or let's say order that people may not really even know about? Well, I actually have like leather sheets. People don't understand or know about that because they don't know that that option is out there. I have a lot of bondage and um, restraints that <laughs> couples really, really use. Um, I have massagers that hit that g-spot a lot of women don't understand another g-spot but mm -hmm. you can discover it with these toys here's the thing and it's not taking away from human interaction mm -hmm. and it's also and this is to the men especially when you're in certain relationships certain men are used to giving pleasure but not receiving pleasure there are toys out there just for men that allows you also to receive that pleasure and toys that you can play with, with your cup, with, with your significant other couples, mm -hmm. um, specific toys as well. Mm -hmm. So for me, as far as what toys do people gravitate towards, they gravitate towards what their inhibition will allow them to, to explore and try. So that's why I tell everyone, you don't know who you are sexually until you start exploring yourself sexually. Everyone yes. deserves pleasure. So it's not to put a negative connotation on sex. No, sex is beautiful. Intimacy is beautiful in any form that it comes in. And right. let's face it, these are days and times that we are all uncertain of and we all are in it at the same time. Absolutely. We have a pause button right now. So let's take advantage of that pause and get to know yourself. Get to explore yourself where you're in an environment where it's actually safer to do so. That is so true um, that you actually mentioned that. And then also, like, for instance, I know I was talking about the array of products that you do have. But um, being that we're kind of like in this realm of like, okay, people discovering things. This is a time where you can be the safest you can possibly be. Um, yeah. I mean, this is also the, like the safest, like you said, it's the safest as well. But what are, some, what are some things like for um, people who have, let's just say you have health issues, if you have like, if you're a new mom, if you're trying to um, deal with certain things, but you still want to increase your sex drive, or um, if you're dealing with fibroids, because, you know, or, and men go through things, too. I'm just speaking the, the obvious of some of the things I know that women go through. But what are some things that you suggest? And I know someone had a question in the question box as well, how to increase your sex drive. If you're, well, let's just say, in any scenario. Exactly. And that is a very good question, because there are many people who deal with certain aspects of erectile dysfunction. They may also deal with after you're having a, a baby that postpartum, it's real. <laughs> and yeah. you may not feel that you're at your, your highest sexual drive. And then you also have people who are, you know, have issues with uh, vaginal dryness. All of these things we cover. Let me just begin by saying, in order to increase your sex drive, it starts from within. Mm -hmm. It is loving yourself and understanding the things that bring you pleasure. Mm -hmm. I have to tell you, this is the time to explore. 
if you're into massagers, you're into vibrators, if you're into certain type of stimulation, this is the time to start understanding what it is that brings that out of you. And right. exactly. those are very personal questions, meaning that I now have to tap into you. What do you like? What do right. you find funny? What do you find enjoyable? What do you find pleasurable? This is the time to explore your pleasure. So I'm going to incorporate the audience a little bit, if you're willing to. Um, drop down some things that maybe you have tried or you would like to explore in the most classiest way possible, because we are trying to keep it classy, but keep it at the same time as spicy enough to keep everyone engaged. And keep yeah. the comments coming. Let Eve know how she's doing. Throw some fire signs. Throw some heart signs. Um, because you're a very educated woman. And a lot of people um, actually might not even know that you even sell, like, adult toys. So yeah. <laughs> speaking of that, um, how, how do you maintain, like, having this type of business and also trying to stay you know, keep that classiness about yourself where you're trying to keep it fun and you're trying to let people know about it, but you're, you're like trying to balance out a fine line. I just say this, this is my golden rule. I'm not on the menu. I'm providing you tools to enhance your pleasure. Right. I'm not your pleasure. So I do my very best to keep everything on an even kill and very not, I'm not gonna say that I'm your high school sex ed teacher it's not that clinical but i am right. here to answer questions and give you guidance and steer you in the right direction to get you to your highest point as far as pleasure is concerned i am your sex specialist in the sense of i facilitate those toys that get you where you need to go baby yes <laughs> <laughs> listen yes sis um okay what would you say for people because I know even myself I'm very private as well you know those are things that I just feel like you could post a picture but I'm not posting like everything about my actual love life but mm -hmm. what do you say to people who may feel like it's a shameful thing or they're curious about it but don't know how to express it like what are some pointers that you could give some ladies because you know there's a mixture of people who feel that way I mean let's let me put this out here everyone deserves pleasure and the stigma behind sex should be discarded at this point let me tell you something under quarantine this is a no judgment zone here okay whatever you have to do to keep your sanity to keep your health and to keep your inner wellness do it please it's safe you don't have to worry about catching anything from anyone. You don't have to worry about giving something to someone. You are in your space and you are able to allow yourself pleasure. Absolutely. So I say to everyone, please, you got here some kind of way, right? We all did. Oh, this is girl. Okay. Listen, I know how I got here. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, I mean, we don't want to think about our parents, but let's No, I don't. But we, but I mean, it's evident. Like we're not, we're not slow. We're all adults here. We all know how we no. got here. And this is the Grown and Sexy Forum. We want to be able to allow you a space to be able to ask questions that you may not even know. Like, I have been asked this question. What is a G-spot? How do you squirt? Mm -hmm. How do you have an orgasm? How do I know if I had an orgasm? It is grown-ups, grown people who have never experienced what an actual orgasm is. Can you believe that? Yes, I can. I've, I've had, I, believe it or not, you know, I've had some personal conversations with uh, some close friends of mine who ha have actually literally said, like, they've never experienced that. And I'm like, okay, like, I, I would be like, okay, how, how, but, how? <laughs> but not as it, not making fun of it or anything, but no. just like trying no. to understand that, but maybe people don't understand, like you said, don't understand their body or not in tune with their body. Or again, maybe they actually need to um, speak to somebody as well, like such as yourself, because maybe like, you know, they've been with, they have different scenarios, right? Like somebody, right. Um, for instance, could be married and then maybe they could be recently divorced, but they've only been with, you know, very few people and haven't had experiences. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, go through different things. 
which is why we have you in the line. <laughs> that's a great point. I mean, that is an excellent point. There are individuals who had very limited experiences outside of that one person or a couple of people. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. You are able to, with the toys, it's like trying something new every time. Yeah. You may not know what you like until you get to that space. Right. Like I said, once you get to know those intimate points of yourself, mm -hmm. it makes a huge difference in how you present and you project an intimate moment. And when you're not ashamed of how you feel and how you respond, then you're able to open yourself up and share in a beautiful way. That's you're so beautiful. Always ready for push. <laughs> yes. Do you um do you ever get men that ask you things? Like it's one thing for a woman to ask another woman something, but you know, men can be can be prideful or they may not really want to admit to certain things. So do you ever get um those type of questions about like men if they're into the toys or not? Oh, definitely. And I also get the question in regard to how do I use them and how do I incorporate them in my relationship? Mm -hmm. And ladies, these guys want to try things with you. Don't come with the, the, the perception that, oh my God, he wants to try these things. He's this, he's that. No, he's just trying to do something with you. Mm -hmm. Toys are a very intimate thing, especially when you have a relationship or you're in a situation where, hey, I'm with someone that I really want to try these things out. And right. it's not a shameful thing. It's actually a very fun way to get to know your partner as well. You need to understand who you're laying with because once you give them pleasure, that pleasure is reciprocated, right? Should so be. I'm it should it be. be. I'm saying it should be. It should be. And that's a good topic for another time. Yeah. <laughs> it should be. But however, you have to have some type of starting point, right? Exactly. Now, I do have a question for you. Okay. <laughs> because I wanted to go over some of the products that we do have so that, you know, the audience can actually see what we do mm -hmm. offer. Yes. I have them on my table. So just to show and tell. Show and tell. Show yes. and tell. Show and tell. Yes. I'm ready, sis. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> yes please show us okay so i'm gonna start off with the small stuff i'll work my way to the other bigger things that you have so one thing that eve has shown me and eve i actually want you to explain the things that you have um sent me as well so you do have this hemp oil. It is a hemp oil infused female arousal oil. Um, so Eve, do you want to just educating everyone as well who may or may not know it, what this does? Well, I love and it. It looks like this too, guys. It's a, it's, yes. it's, it's tiny. Clean. It smells Perfect. really good. It's, <laughs> it's hemp well. oil. I love organic and I love natural things. And the cool thing about that particular oil it is infused with CBD. And not to mention, it actually is a clitoral stimulator. That means that it gives the most sensation and um, arouse it to that area. So you put it 15 minutes, you put it on 15 minutes before you're ready to have um, your, your moment, <laughs> your special moment. <laughs> about the and, intimate. And, you're ready to and it definitely enhances not only the sensation, but it actually, and now you ask that question about how do you get stimulated and how do you get aroused? Well, this is one of the things that I use as far as um, from what I would suggest to clients as far as arousal is concerned. It's magnificent. All right. And guys, while I'm showing this stuff again, if you guys have questions, put it in the question box. Um, I'm trying to be as respectful as I can to other people about your privacy. So I'm really not calling out any names or if you want to write it out on the actual live itself, I'll make sure to get to you. So next is this warming oil. So um, it's a warming glide to add a little spice to the bedroom. So if you want to tell everybody what this bad boy does, 
Yes, that is also another stimulator. It is a warming oil. So what happens is when you use that particular oil, you apply it, it has a nice warm sensation. So it actually gives you more um, stimulation to whatever area you use it on. And it can be used for men and it can be used for women. But I can guarantee you after you're done with that, you're going to enjoy every moment that you had with your significant other. <laughs> Listen, these are these y'all asked about it. We trying to give y'all some pointers and other ways. And speaking of which, I just wanted to say I was on a live yesterday. This ties into everything that we're talking about. And I think it was a guy who's like in his forties. And believe it or not, relationship lives are popping. We'd be on there for like three to five hours talking about any and everything, like guys versus girls, uh, relationships, just period. But then I know someone said yesterday how, like you know. Um, as we get older, do things change for women? And I said, yes, as a woman, yes, yes, it does. Because everyone goes through different periods in their lives where you you find certain changes within yourself, what you like and what you don't like. So I wanted to point that out too, Eve. Yes, that what you were saying was like dead spot on about um, stuff like that. Yeah, I even have shrinkage cream. Believe it or not, after you have a baby, you need to work it out. We have shrinkage cream for that too. But that definitely, um, it's like the kegels, it enhances the muscles and pulls it back in. And you need that. I mean, as women, let's face it, those are muscles that we're dealing with. And it's like everything else, you got to work them out sometimes. So we do have items and toys that will allow that to come right back into place. I have a question too. So I know a lot of people are into, and with, in terms of the kegels, um, the yoni eggs. Yes. Um, do you guys sell the yoni eggs on your website? And then also, mm -hmm. do you even rec do you fully recommend that, or do you think the cream is actually better? Well, I do recommend the yoni eggs. I don't per personally sell them on my site because they're very individualized. You need mm -hmm. to actually get measured. You need it's like having an exam. It's something that's for spirituality. It's for emotional. It's for physical. It has a lot of. Uh, there are, are different aspects to having a yoni egg. It's not just I'm working out my Kegel exercise. You're actually spiritually tapping into yourself, and it does enhance your sexual libido. So I would suggest if anyone gets a yoni egg, don't just take it from any and everybody. Actually, go and get an exam. Get yourself checked out and say, you know what, Doc, I want to get a yoni egg. They'll actually prescribe it to you. So live no I did not. I just learned something because I didn't know that. Um, I remember we had a group chat and um, everybody was just buying them off this one website. And, no, and nobody was getting measured for them. Everybody just started No, them. It's, it's very personal. Certain things, especially because we are females, you're inserting something into your body. The yeah. last thing you want to do is insert something that's foreign that's not actually going to be beneficial to you. So make sure if you're going to get the Yoni X, and I don't, I don't, discourage anyone from participating in purchasing them but just mm -hmm. make sure that they're specific for you because it really is a spiritual thing to have those yes Eve, but speaking of things that can go inside you <laughs> we do have the complete lover's kit y'all <laughs> so um do you want me to show actually Please. everything that's in there okay and then you want to go over everything I mean, we could we could go over well, everything, everything we... but most the most things. Yes. So I literally am like unboxing this literally because I wanted to show everybody how it actually really comes in the packaging that you will be getting if you do decide to purchase from her. Also, Eve, where can people find um, all these wonderful products? Yes, please go to www.ready forpleasure.com and that's r-e-a-d-y f-o-r pleasure p-l-e-a-s-u-r-e -E, ready for pleasure.com all righty so i'll go over like a few things so of course we have this and this is the vibrator that's the vibrator doll in the that's the vibrator <laughs> so ladies if you are listen you need a moment to yourself eve eve Listen, she got you. And it's in a lover's kit, too. So if you decide that you actually want to use it with your partners, um, it comes in a full package that I just showed you. Now, 
Eve, do you want to go and explain this as well to people? <laughs> well, those are enhancement tools. And that's what I was explaining to you about uh, the vibrators, the enhancers, the strokers, or whatever have you. Those are tools that you could actually use with the vibrator, with the um, with the dildo or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay. That will actually give you a nice sensation as well because it's like a massager in itself as well. Got it. So you have the different um, enhancing tools that you could use to go with it. And that's where, again, you find out what's your pleasure, what you like, what you don't like, but you have the kit to try it out. And especially trying it out with your partner. It's a lot of fun. Got you. Um, okay, for the ladies with the Kegels, right? So I'm assuming, I have not used these, but these are for your Kegel exercises. The annual balls. Yes, you can use them for that. And they could be used vaginally or anally. It's for both. Okay. Um, and then also, bah, those are the Benoit beads. <laughs> that is also something that could use, be used vaginally and anally as well. It's like a very good way to get yourself ready for an experience, let's just say. Yes. Well, it's all about a ready for pleasure experience. It's always about pleasure. Everyone deserves pleasure, honey. <laughs> All right, and this is the last um, the last one that's in this actual lover's kit, and we do have this as well. And that's the enhancement? Yes, it is. And it also, if you notice, it has that piece, so it's also a clitoral stimulator as well. So, Fun ladies, kit. gents, there's stuff, listen, guys, there's stuff in here for you, too. So yes. it's not all just for the women. It's for the men as well. Um, yes. Which, I mean, Eve, like, I really like that about your site because it's not just one sided. It's not just for couples. It's literally for, for everyone, for everyone to have some type of experience, no matter what you're going through, no matter what conditions you may have. And I'm not saying anyone has them. I'm just saying that we all go through things and it could be medically, it could be um, mentally because sometimes it's really a mental thing. Like maybe like we just not in the mood. Yeah. <laughs> like maybe you're happens. stressed out I mean, or something. That's Even real. And you know what? It's like I'm I'm laughed because I'm a mom too. So if you need to have a moment where you lock yourself in the bathroom and you turn on the shower, do whatever you need to do. Catch that moment because that is so important. Self-care, self-health, self-awareness, and self-love is important to your progress in life. It doesn't have to be an instance where if you're single, guess what? You're single, but that doesn't mean you can't love yourself. That doesn't mean exactly. you can't enjoy yourself. Pleasure is for everyone. And then couples, even though you're in a relationship, that doesn't mean that you guys are at your sexual peak and that you're enjoying every moment. You can always spice it up. Whether you've been together for a month or 10 years or 20 years, you still can enjoy pleasure. So this is the biggest thing that I will say to everyone. We are in uncertain times, but the one thing that you can be certain of is the fact that you need self-love and self-care. So please enjoy your pleasurable moments any chance that you get. Everyone deserves it, okay? Everyone I'm, I'm it. trying to read through the comments because I think I don't know why my phone is so slow, but um, someone said pomegranate juice and coconut water for men. Yes, I am so big on that. Like, I love natural um, detoxes. I love natural juices. I am the biggest uh, um, supporter of that. My thing is, it starts from within. And I tell ladies all the time, drink some uh, watermelon juice, drink some pineapple peach juice, juice. To, pineapple, pineapple juice. juice. Yes. That will be the best yoni experience for your partner, okay? Understand it starts from within. And if your system is dirty, then you produce dirty. But if your system is clean and you have those nice sweet juices in you, oh, chow, then you're ready for pleasure, okay? <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm still reading through y'all comments because I definitely didn't know that y'all had all this stuff in, like, in the live comments. So, someone said that warming oil is good. Mind yes. you, this is the guy 
Um, someone said, okay, what did I walk into? Take care, y'all. <laughs> um, what is this? Who else? Who else says stuff? Okay, so let's just keep the let's just keep everything moving because there's it's so much stuff. So yeah, um, and I hope you guys are enjoying this conversation. Um, literally, like I said, it's not a shameful topic, but it is something. Like I said, if you're in a relationship, not a relationship. Matter of fact, if you are in a relationship and you can be in a relationship with yourself, yes, definitely. I like this that. for everybody. I like that. This is about empowerment. No one, no one at this time deserves to not be in a position where you're not mentally healthy and you're not mentally aware of yourself. This is that time. This is the time right now to get to know yourself. This is when you get to explore yourself. This is when there is a judgment-free zone. Enjoy this moment because it is actually a blessing that we have this chance and this opportunity to do so. Um, before I show the last, the other thing as well. Um, oh, someone said, how can I order? So, <laughs> Judgment free! Yeah. Go to www.readyforpleasure.com Is it the number? It's the number four, Eve? No, it's the it's just the four. F-O-R. Four. Let me write Ready that down and I'll pin the comment. Pleasure.com um, someone also said, is pineapple juice good for men? Very much so. Let me explain. Men, just like women, from the inside, projecting out, especially for men, fill yourself up with the most um, juiciest juices, strawberry juice, blueberry juice, pineapple juice. I say that these particular uh, fruits, because they're high in alkaline, so that you'll have a cleaner outcome. And it'll wash you right out, cleanse you right out, and give you that refreshed feeling from the inside out. I'm telling you, it works. <laughs> yes, sis. <laughs> All right. So um, before I get into the last two things that you did, well, no, the last thing you sent me, you do have this. Yes, guys, it is it's definitely a swing. Okay. It is a door love sling. It's comfort padding. Um, fully adjustable, secure, and durable, no drilling required, and travel friendly. Yes. You want to talk about and that a little bit or touch let's on it? Let's talk about it because we have, okay, you get to a certain point, the flexibility isn't there anymore, but you still want to enjoy yourself, right? This particular toy or our, our product, you can actually put in the doorway is so you live in an apartment so you, you don't live in a situation where you can have a standard stationary swing you can put it in the door it is it enables you to have agility while you're intimate with your partner so you could try different positions that you may not have been able to try if you're laying in the bed and it spices things up like spice said go get in a tree or something <laughs> have some did fun you just see you saw the video that i shared the other day it was like spice well it's a, it's like a month old, but Spice and um, Shikana from Love and Hip Hop were talking about adding Spice is 2020. And I'm just yes. like, you know what? I mean, everyone has these type of conversations. So let's spice it up. I mean, we are all grown and sexy. We are all here to enhance our lives. We're not here to make you feel ashamed. We're not here to make you feel as if you're alone on this island. No, everybody wants to experience some type of pleasure. So we are here to help you facilitate that pleasure. Those are fun things to play with, especially if you're in a relationship or, or you are in a situation. Who cares what you're in? As long as you have a partner to play with, you can play with the swing and you guys will enjoy it. And keeping and, it safe too. And keeping it safe. Let me safe. keep that in there as well. I love that disclaimer and keeping it safe and That's keeping it safe. Um, and last but not least, when you're using all this stuff, guys, and I talked about keeping it safe, of course, you got some toy cleaner. So make sure you clean your toys. And she has yes. some, some stuff to clean it. And um, I also saw someone said how much is, I mean, what's the weight limit? It's 300 pounds, it says on it's the 300, box. yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I also sell swings that are stationary, stationary if you're able to put it in your house. It has a whole stand with the swing itself and it does like a 360 spin so 
I also have those items online as well. Yes, Eve. Well, I mean, I mean, how often do you know a friend that actually has an adult toy line? Not always often. I don't know um, anybody but me. <laughs> right. Do For people who have wed, uh, weddings, uh, bachelorette parties, just want to have like a girls night out a girls a uh, girls night party do you um do you host those and do you sell these anywhere else other than online at like let's just say pre and post covid okay pre covid I definitely did events and would have um theme parties whether it be bachelorette bachelor parties things of those nature yes definitely we did events um post COVID, I am in the process of figuring out how to do it safely. Okay. And hold tight. I'm putting my brain on it and I guarantee you I'll have a solution for it. But we do offer those, uh, those type of events. I just want to make sure that we do it in a way that everyone is safe in this day and age. Yes, of course. Just have to ask because I know a lot of weddings and bachelorette parties are are not where are currently postponed so it's still yeah. some time to have some ideas if you ladies do want to try it and or men i don't know um well and to be totally honest with you a party under 10 is still a, it's still a it's still a feasible party it just has to be under 10 so it's getting to the point where we just pick and choose how you want to celebrate it so um being that we were also talking about i know we talked about the health a little bit and cleaning your toys and all that stuff. But just to keep it 100 with everybody, like, okay, what are some tips or health tips and recommendations um, to just stay healthy with your body? And I mean, this one might be primarily for like the women, because I feel like sometimes we don't really touch on that part. Like we'll talk about all of the kinky stuff, but we don't talk about things that we use as far as products and anything that's concerned to keep ourselves healthy, clean and in addition to the pineapples or any, or uh, the pomegranate juice or whatever, like you got to do more than that. <laughs> yes, you do. And it's important for everyone to keep themselves in the best um, health as far as your hygiene is concerned. And for women, I always say, listen, you can even go on my site. I have products for women as far as vaginal uh, cleansing. But even the smallest things as far as just taking it old school, a little apple cider vinegar and some water, freshen you out, freshen you right out and sit in the tub. And if you don't have a tub, you can do it as a douche. You just need to understand that, that you need to keep your pH at a certain level. So especially after you have your cycle, you need to make sure that you, you cleanse. I personally, um, Norform, I, I love Norform. It, it cleans you out, keeps your pH balanced. I do some review, but again, I also sell these products too online, so you can check those out. Um, you have cleaning men. products? Yeah, I do. I do. Oh wow, are products. they um, are they soaps? Or are they like like a pe like refresh? Like there's also like the Vagisil refresh. Um, there's tons of things for ladies to, to clean get that young right. out. Yeah. Um, yes. so I even have, it, we, we call it, it's in, don't laugh, but the name is actually Coochie Shave Cream. So I have the okay. shave creams and the line that we have for female hygiene. Um, my biggest thing is that it is really important for everyone to understand cleansing your toys before and after is most importante because you don't want to catch an infection. You want to cleanse yourself before and after you have, um, sexual intercourse because you want to make sure that those bacterias and, and whatever have you don't stay. If you want to use, I know we kind of touched on this before, some people like to use natural, uh, let's say food you're or items. Up, like, Eve, I'm sorry. Eve, you're breaking you up just me? a little bit. Can you see me now? I can hear you, but it sounds a little um, like something's going on. I'm here. Where I'm at, we're kind of having a storm. I can so see you I'm moving okay. a little bit, but it's like, it's really grainy. I'm sorry, guys. I hope you It's all okay. Continue. Yes. I want people to be able to hear you clearly. But go ahead and, and what's your next question? Let's see if we can get okay. this going. Okay. Um, so you do have your, you do have um, cleaning products on your, um, on your website. Um, 
what is i'm gonna just kind of like switch gears for a second from the cleaning stuff what is the toy of the month do, or do you even have toys of the month that people normally tend to gravitate to the most besides best, like vibrators yeah our best sellers is, is the vibrators and the massagers and i like um some of the novelty toys that we have which i definitely promote because i see that my clientele loves it is the like vibrating panties um especially oh, yeah, that's for right. oh my gosh i didn't show that oh my yeah. god yes that's right let's show it to them so they can see it that's one of my favorite uh, do not be mad um i have to ask somebody to go get that for me so because <laughs> no i can't leave off the couch to go grab it no 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 worries um, so but but just as an fyi she does have you look okay it looks way better now because you were very pixelated before she okay. does have vibrating panties too guys um they're black underwear and they have like a little vibrator as well um but sorry i did I not have it, it i didn't have it on my table that was my the fault. catch to that is it has a remote control so your partner is in control of your pleasure so your partner can be like 10 to 20 feet away, zap you real quick, <laughs> and you're not understanding where it's coming from, but you're definitely enjoying the moment as it comes. So It gives me that Fifty Shades of Grey type of like scenery, it. like yes. <laughs> or scenario, it does. doesn't it? It does, because you have a dominant and you have a submissive. So... The one who has the control, the remote control, is the dominant, and the one who's wearing, of course, is submissive. But it allows you to actually play with each other, have fun with each other, get into it. Like you could be somewhere, and and actually, no one knows what's happening between you and your partner. That's your dirty little. It's secret. an intimate <laughs> moment. It's a secretive yes. intimate moment that, very. and that can be very playful as well because it's not it's not boring. It's fun. No. And the whole point of it all is to understand that they're called adult toys for a reason. We're playing with them. We're having fun with them. We're getting to understand ourselves with them. We're exploring ourselves with them. Have fun with your toys. This is the only time I can tell you as an adult, play with your toys. Kids have play toys and adults have toys too. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Know thyself. <laughs> yes. Um... What is the craziest fetish you think from people that have you uh, that have ordered from you to this date? Because I don't, I want to keep it on like the people who ask you things. Um, don't have to name drop, but uh, yeah. To okay, be honest if, if that's you. too if that's too much of a juicy topic, we can skip that question. You know what? I will tell you this only from going off of. Pure sales. Pure BDSM, sales. BDSM is my, my biggest seller. And that's bondage and restraints. Um, that fetish runs the gamut from gagging to restraints to, I mean, you name it, you can have fun with it. But that is something that I tell everyone, that's your comfort level. The fetish is your comfort level. Everyone has a different fetish and you may not even know what your fetish is until you start getting into it. But we can explore that. And that's for you to explore. This is the time to get to know yourself. And yes. to be honest with you, it's a fetish that I can say there's a whole community out there willing to embrace you, okay? All righty. Um, again, guys, we, I know we're, we still have time left, but I want to make sure if you guys do have questions, I'm not going to say your name. If you want to put a question in the question box, or if you put a lot, um, ask a question that's on the live feed, go ahead and do that as well. Um, because that's why we're here. Um, also, if you just don't feel comfortable at all in this type of setting, um, I will post Eve, um, yeah and her information as well on my page so that you guys are able to ask her personalized questions that you may not even feel comfortable with asking. On yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not anything to be ashamed of, but if you feel more comfortable um, having a more private moment, I'm okay with that. That's what we're here for, to make you very comfortable, make you very aware, and also provide that pleasure for you in a safe setting. Also, I do want to mention while we do have this intermediate time as well 
We are going to have a giveaway, guys. So it's going to be a hundred dollar retail gift set for you. It, it don't. Even, it doesn't even have to be a set. It's whatever equates to a hundred dollar value. Um, I'm going to post all the rules on my page. But just to let you guys know, right now, once this post is posted on my page, you must be my follower. You must follow me. Um, you also must tag three friends on the post and then on top of that you have to send a dm to me that says ready the number four and pleasure i'm going to put again all of these directions on the post to receive um the hundred dollars um but i would really like to definitely like let someone know how great your products are and we're gonna do the raffle on um, on Wednesday. So we'll have time for that on Wednesday as well. And I will actually announce the winner. I don't know if you want to come back on live and do it, but if you enter and submit, we'll we'll actually do the raffle literally on the live together if you're available, Eve. Definitely. I'm all here for it, honey. We're always ready for pleasure. <laughs> Are you doing a promo code? Yes, and it's ready, the number four, and pleasure. You could go online and put in that promo code. Actually, so, I'm um ready. The I'm going to post it right, right now. Pleasure. And mind you, this <laughs> same promo code is the same thing that you must send to me in my DM, and I'll add your name into the raffle. So, someone has a question. Someone says, "Do you know if there's any ways to do a self healing through orgasms?" Is this a man or a woman asking? Because it's different for. I'm, assu I'm assuming it's a female. Well, my biggest thing, like I've been saying this whole time, is getting to know yourself. Women, we have a G-spot. That G-spot is the ticket to heaven. If you don't know it, it's time to get to understand it. Um, that is the gateway to, <laughs> I can tell you this. If you can understand that particular part of your body, that will open up the floodgates to a world of orgasms. The massagers, the vibrators, it's kind of like a cheat. And I love it because it, it gets to the point. You could have sex, and I'm being honest, and never achieve an orgasm. However, when you get to know yourself and you're using the massagers, using the vibrators, you can really come to a great understanding of what is your spot, what turns you on, what gives you pleasure, what actually creates that moment for you. And you can take your time and you can explore without feeling an obligation to a situation, only feeling that obligation to yourself. Mm -hmm. Someone also asked, how do you get your partner to engage with you with toys if you're the initiator of it i say like everything else work your way into it and have an open and honest conversation with your partner because right. you both have to want to willingly participate or it's going to be awkward and weird and with toys you have to as a couple come to an understanding of okay what do you like what well, does this or does this or does this like play around with it I love those lubricating um, gels and those warmers because you can actually take that opportunity to give yourselves a couple's massage. A couple's massage leads to other things, but it's an intimate moment that you can have with your partner. You have to explore one another. You can't be in a relationship and not understand who you're dealing with, especially sexually. That's the intimate moment that you guys bond. You guys share, you become one. So if you're becoming one, you wanna introduce these toys in a way that your partner feels comfortable as well. Like, hey babe, I got some cuffs, you wanna try this? Or, hey babe, I got a little massage, I'm gonna give you a massage, you wanna try this? You have to build them into it, especially if they're not used to participating mm -hmm. with toys. But you wanna put it in an environment where it's safe. You set the candles. You set the, the mood. It's a whole mood over there, by the way. I was, oh. I mean. <laughs> Thank you. This is my protection team. They made sure I was good. Yes. <laughs> it's a vibe. <laughs> yes. It's a whole vibe. Okay? Yes. 
but that vibe is how you get your partner ready for pleasure. You set the mood. You set the tone. If you want to be the initiator, you can fit the shades of gray, whoever, as long as you put them in a setting where they feel safe and comfortable. I love that. Someone also said, and I have, I think this might be my last question. If you got, I don't know how you feel, Eve. I know people might have more questions for you. So I don't know if you want to, if we should do like an ask Eve, like maybe for I'm like for 15 it. minutes she, after this, after I I'm actually post it. everything. Um, I am for it. Anything to get everyone empowered to having pleasure, baby. I'm for it. Um, someone asks, if you're, okay. So they said sex is like, taboo and like you know we're talking about staying safe and these are ways to help us engage with our own selves to love ourselves and with other people but what if you don't want to use the toys anymore like you want an actual human touch and especially like we're in a pandemic now so like what do you say to someone who's in these times right now and they are using the toys or want to get the toys but they just really want that human interaction well, I'm going to be honest and say what is real. Right now, we are, an uncertain, we are in uncertain times. And until we are certain that we are safe engaging with new partners, you have to have some type of outlet. And there is nothing that beats human interaction. Please don't ever, ever get that twisted. But until you are able to engage in a safe environment, this is just a way to tide yourself and to keep yourself so that this is your moment to explore yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't get it wrong. Everyone loves human interaction. And I'm not saying that, that uh, this is replacing it. I'm saying until you can get to that safe space, this is helping you get to that moment. Mm, I like that. Um, we only have about like two minutes left. Before I'm a, I'll actually come back on with Eve. If you guys want to uh, rejoin, we'll have like 15 minutes for just you guys asking her questions only. Um, Eve, how do you stay afloat in this type of business? And I know it's a booming, I, in real life, it's really a booming business. There's more people who are into this stuff than we probably all think. But even in this times of um, COVID and all this stuff, as a business owner in general, how do you stay afloat? I'm going to be honest, I've been grinding at this since 2011. We have been doing this since 2011. And what I would tell everyone that is in business post-COVID and pre-COVID, consistency is the key. You must stay consistent. If you have an idea and you know it works and you have something that you're passionate about, please, you could, you could take a pause, you could take a break, but don't stop. Stay consistent. You want a successful business? Keep consistent. Consistency is key. You may get knocked on your ass 10 times a day. You may have the door closed in your face. And trust me, it has been done to me. But guess what? Stay consistent. Stay consistent. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. And that is the key to success for anyone. Um, well, I appreciate your keys to success. I actually appreciate your keys to uh all of the questions and knowledge about all of these toys that you have that everyone is going to definitely, I'm sure, um, check out. Um, we only you. have about a minute and 30 seconds remaining. So I'm going to close out so I can post um, this post. Everybody, um, we're going to come back on for like 15 minutes to see if you guys want to ask her anything. Um, it can be very general. It doesn't have to be very personal. I think there was like one or two people I didn't get to actually get to. But um Eve, I want to tell you before we go back on, I really appreciate you coming on and sharing your knowledge about um, the body and learning ourselves and learning them through adult toys. And I want to tell everyone, beauty is loving. Beauty is loving yourself. It's on the inside. It's on the outside. And, you know, it's, on, it's about loving others and, you know, loving one true self. So listen, at the end of the day, Stay blessed. Thank you. Also, I know I said stay blessed because it's Sunday, but literally stay safe too at the end of the stay day. Safe. It's all about staying safe. Mm -hmm. And we also wanted just to provide just some, some great alternative ways on how to stay safe in these trying times. Absolutely. So I want to thank, thank everybody. You. And Eve, I want to thank you.
Thank you. And thank you for giving me a platform to be able to speak to everyone and to reach everyone. Thank you. Everyone deserves pleasure. I appreciate this. Yes. We'll see everybody on the next live. Thank Thanks. You. <laughs>